Detective, starring the world's greatest magician, Blackstone. He tells you the inside story of The Reluctant Buzzsaw. And right after the story, Blackstone will explain tricks of magic that you yourself can perform, revealing the guarded secrets of the world's greatest magician. And now to Blackstone's Magic Studio. Welcome, Mr. Hancock. We were expecting you. Why, thank you, Blackstone. I suppose you've come to have Blackstone tell you another of his magical adventures. Well, yes, I have, Miss Brent. Uh, but tell me something first. Why do you uh, have that tremendous buzzsaw over there? Oh, they use that to cut me in half every night. Oh, that's very... What? <laughs> but do you have to use such a big buzzsaw to slice such a charming young lady? Well, we're always trying to improve our magical illusions. Which reminds me of when we were first building this particular one. It all happened while we were traveling through the south. After the show, the boys put the finishing touches on the illusion. I was going over it backstage when Rhoda rushed in as though a ghost were after Blackstone! Blackstone! Well, what is it, Rhoda? Why, you're all excited. Oh, I ought to be excited. I was just coming out of the lunchroom when some men ran out of the bank across At the street. At this time of night? Mm-hmm, that's right. They were wearing masks and carrying bags. Did, did they see you? I don't know. But when they drove away, I saw the license number of their car, and, and I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget it. I have the piece of paper right here in my bag. Oh, I'm so nervous I can't find it. Calm yourself, Rhoda. Hey, give me the bag. I'll find it. Uh, Look out behind thing. you! How did you fellows get here? And who are you? Never mind, Dash. Get those hands up, both of you. If you don't, we'll let you have it. Very well. Well, that was easy. What do you say, Jake? I say the same thing, Clipper. But I keep that guy Blackstone covered. So what? He can't do no sleight of hand with his mitts up in the air, can he? You never can tell, Clipper. Lay off the wisecracks, magician. Just keep reaching. Hurry up, Jake. Find out what's in that Jane's handbag. Yeah, yeah. Give me time. There's nothing important in that bag. No. We saw the dame writing something. So look for a hunk of paper, Jake. Yeah, yeah, Clipper. Yeah, here it is. What's on it? Hey, it's our license number. That dame spotted us. So wise, dame. You did spot our number. But... But I don't, I don't think I remember it. Well, we think you do. What do I do now, Clipper? Give her a slight case of lead poisoning? Don't be a dope. Want the cuffs on her neck? We'll do this the smart way. No murder is smart, Clipper. You don't think so, magician? Well, you'll find out different. You bet you will, magician. Clipper plays everything smart. And this is going to be very smart. We'll get rid of the girl and pin it on Blackstone. That's very foolish, Clipper. People have tried that sort of thing before. And if you killed me, nobody in the world would ever suspect Blackstone. You don't think so? Well, I see just what I need. <laughs> Get a load of that bus over there. Hey, that's a big one, eh? That's right. I've got a big idea to go with it. What's that, Clipper? See that board lying right in front of it? Yeah? Those two straps hanging on the post? Yeah? All right, Jake. Take the girl and strap it to the board. Then carry it right in front of the big buzz. So wait, Clipper. Hey, you can't do that. One move out of you, Blackstone. I'll let you have it. I forgot that license number. Really, yeah. I don't. I don't. Grab it, Chief. Stop. Stop. Leave me alone. Uh, Come on. Let her let you let let you let it it. Down if I thought I could remember it. Get all of the wrists. Stick it behind her, Chief. Yeah. Yeah. Leave me alone. 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 Yeah, then that makes it simple. You can't go through with this, Clipper. Go through with what? The buzzsaw? <laughs> we'll leave that to the buzzsaw. Ready, Jake? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let me get this plank in front of this saw. Put your gun down. Get that saw started. I got him covered. Okay, Clipper. I warn you, Clipper. I warn you, you're making a great mistake. <laughs> You'll get the blame for this mistake, Blackstone. Tomorrow, the newspapers will have a nice little headline. Blackstone, famous magician, lets beautiful assistant get sliced by a buzzsaw. Nobody will believe it, Clipper. Nobody. One day, everybody will just think you were trying a new trick that didn't work. Ready when it's wet? Here goes, Clipper. Let her go. Clipper, the way that damn yell Quit mopping your forehead, Jake. Get a grip on yourself. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get a grip on myself. Gotta get a grip on myself. Get back there, pick up your gun, just in case the cops pay us a little visit. The shoe's on the other foot, Clipper. We're going to pay a little visit to the police. 
What do you mean? Just look behind you, Clipper. But drop your gun first, Clipper. I have you covered. Who? That damn Clipper. The one that you saw it in half. You mean the girl you thought you saw it in half. Yeah, yeah, Clipper, that's the damn. And she's got my gun. Yes, and I know how to shoot it, too. So drop yours, Clipper. Better drop it, Clipper. Rhoda is getting impatient. You win what you should. That's my gun. I'll keep them covered with Clipper's gun, Rhoda, while you get the police. With pleasure. Yeah, Chisha. You win, but I'd like to know how that girl's in one piece. You'll have plenty of time to figure it out, Clipper. Just about 20 years. But why wasn't Rhoda sawed in half, Blackstone? Because that was a new illusion Blackstone was building. That's right. Sawing a woman in half. With a buzz saw. With a buzz saw? Without hurting her? Yes. Same thing, I do it every show. And uh, does it always work? I would say it does. If it didn't, Rhoda wouldn't be here to tell you that it did. It's like all of Blackstone's magic. It never fails. But doesn't it ever worry you, Rhoda? Well, never since that first tryout when we had those bank robbers as an audience. And they are still wondering how it was done. Yes, and you had me wondering too, Blackstone. Just as you did with those tricks you showed us last time. We'd like to see some more of them. Good. Well... Here's one so easy it'll really fool you. Well, that sounds intriguing. What do you use? These coins here in my fist. Uh, listen. Now, uh, what do I have here? Buy some coins in your fist. Good. Do you know how many coins? No, I don't. Well, I'll tell you. I have three coins. Their value is exactly 35 cents. But one of them isn't a nickel. You said three coins were 35 cents. That's right. But one of them isn't a nickel. That's right. Now, wait now. A quarter and a dime. That would be two coins. But I have three here. Exactly three. Three dimes. No, that would be only 30 cents. And my three coins make 35 cents. Well, I give up. Let's see those wonderful coins. There they are. A quarter and two nickels. Three coins that total 35 cents. But you said... I have three coins, but one of them isn't a nickel. Certainly. I was speaking of the quarter. It isn't a nickel, is it? Why, no. Well, there you are. Three coins, but one of them isn't a nickel. Only the other two are. Catch on? <laughs> Say, that's a fooler. Sounds like one thing, but uh, it means another. Yeah, but you won't fool me like that again, Blackstone. Won't I? Well, let's try. Here we have six glasses. Ordinary drinking glasses. I'm going to set them in a row. Mm, six glasses in a row. What next? Now, Rhoda, start from the left and fill three glasses from this beverage bottle. Here's one. And here's two. And here's three. Now, there you are. Six glasses in a row. The three at the left are filled with the finest beverage. But the three at the right are empty. Exactly. Now, the trick is, you are to rearrange those glasses so that every odd one is full and every even one empty. You mean so that there will be a, a full glass, then an empty, then another full glass, another empty, another full, and finally an empty. That's right. We must finish with the glasses alternating full... And empty. Why, that's easy. If we move the one on the left and then the one on the uh, right... Wait a minute, Rhoda. You're only allowed to move one glass. Only one glass? That's right. Why, it can't be done that easily. Oh, yes, it can. Suppose we let Rhoda try to figure it out. I'll be back in a few moments to see how she's made up. Blackstone, uh, those six glasses. Well, there they are. Six glasses. The three on the left are full of a most enticing beverage. And the three on the right are empty. Yes. Now you're to move one glass without touching any others and make the glasses full and empty, alternately from left to right. I just can't do it, Blackstone. I've been trying and trying. Well, watch. I'll show you how. I pick up the middle glass of the three full ones at the left. But where are you going to put it? It's not where I put that glass. What counts is where I put the beverage it contains. Oh, you mean you're going to drink it? Not yet. I'm going to pour the liquid from this glass into the middle glass of the three empties on the right. And 
Now my original glass is empty. So I put it right back where I picked it up, between the two full glasses at the left. And there you have it. Say, that does solve it. Full, empty. See, that's the one you poured from. Full, empty, full. That's the one you poured into. And empty. Say, that's great. I thought you'd enjoy it. And I'm sure our friends listening in will also play it on their friends. And now, until we meet again, this is Blackstone saying good magic and goodbye. <laughs> Here with us next time when the world's greatest magician, Blackstone, tells us the story of the Emerald in the Fishbowl and explains more tricks that you yourself can perform. Listen to Blackstone, the world's greatest magician.